Hi, I'm Emma and today we're going to be making Christmas wreaths made from paper and pom-poms. So in your art pack you'll have everything you need to assemble your own Christmas decoration. Now find a space that's clear um, so you can spread out all your contents of your pack and you might want to cover it but you don't need to. Also, before I go on, um, you might want to, especially with this uh, decoration, uh, pause the video any time to catch up, um, maybe while you're sticking all your bits together um, and then continue the video. Or if you just want to pause to take a break, that's fine as well. Are you ready? Right, let's have a look in our art pack. Inside your pack you should have a plate that's had the middle cut out which is going to be the base of your wreath. Don't worry if the middle is a bit wonky because you'll cover that up and you won't see that. You should have some glue dots, lots of pieces of green card, okay, which will be of your wreath. You should have a bow and you should have about 15 to 20 pom poms, okay, in all different colours, and blue dots. And lastly, you should have a hanger um, which will stick on at the end of your wreath, okay? So, what we're going to do first is we're going to move the pom poms. ready to assemble the outer bit of our wreath. So if I turn my plate over, that's a better way to do it. So we're only going to put glue dots on one side of the leaf. They should all be folded in half like that, which makes them easy to slot on to your wreath. Okay? Now if you didn't put the glue dots on, they'd all slide about and it would all go round to the bottom when it's tumbled. So I've already, to save you watching, have put my glue dots on and we're already. I just need to take the backs of them off. So I'm going to do it. Um, I was going to do it one at a time, but I'm going to be brave and take them all off. They'll be very sticky. So if you wanted to put them on, um, you could put them all on at the same time. But I would advise you maybe, if you don't want to get in a sticky mess, is to just take the backs off, so one stick at a time while you assemble it. And always remember, you can pause this video at any time if you want to catch up or you put your glue dots on and then you can carry on afterwards. I could have showed you what it looked like and um, speed this up, but we're all following it together. Um, I'll take the backings off as I go along. Nearly there. See which one's the sticky one. So as you can see, I've got quite a few on, just to make sure that if you want, you could count how many uh, pieces of green paper card you've got and you can stick that many glue dots on so you will have one sticky dot per piece of green card. That makes sense? Okay. So now I'm ready to start popping them on. So like I said, they're folded in half so you open it up slightly and push it as far as it'll go to the edge of the middle of the plate and press down. Okay. So I'm going to do it, you can either go round or you can do it like this. So you almost like a clock, so you do it one side and then the other. Can you see? I'm pressing it down 
the back if I turn it over won't be pressed down but it doesn't matter you can do that afterwards but for this part that doesn't matter okay and also where they're folded if you want to make them a bit more tightly folded just go along with your fingernail like that okay I'm going to go to the other side as you can see I've formed like a pattern at right angles okay and now uh, I'm going to start putting them either side spotted one there it's not sticky because I forgot to take the back off so not a problem okay so sticking them on so I'm filling each of the sections now okay so as you can see I've overlapped them slightly it doesn't matter if you can see a bit of it because you can always cover that gap up when you start to stick your pom-poms on. So here we go. Going round filling. So I've filled all of that quarter and I'm now going to do another quarter. Now I didn't count and I've, I've done lots here but you should have 20 in your pack. And on one I did previously that was plenty to cover your paper wreath, okay? So, as you can see I'm still going round, so I'm on to my third quarter, shuffle it round. So, again, please pause if I'm moving too quickly, and then you can catch up. Also, I'm telling you, you can fold it with your nail. You could also, if you want to make it tighter, is go round like that with your finger. I'm doing it now, but you can do it when you finish them all. You just press them like so, okay? So I'm almost ready. If you're thinking, right, I've missed um, placement, I've got extra, you can always pop a glue dot on and fit it in where you think there's a gap. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I'll get rid of all those, just leave one out. Okay, so say if I think, oh, there's a little gap there, so I'm going to pop a glue dot on here. I'm going to take the back on and I'll stuff it on my green. Again, pop it in there like that on top. There we go. Afterwards, you can, if you've got enough glue dots, put some on the back, but it's not really necessary at this point, okay? So, there you go, you have got your finished green wreath. So, the next thing I'm going to grab is a bow. So, you will have a bow of some description in your pack and I'm going to get the glue dots back on the table and move them out of the way and I'm going to pop on the back of my bow the glue dot like so. Take the backing off, put it that way so you can see it clearly. And you decide where you want it. You can have it lower down. I've got mine a bit higher up. Okay and now pom-poms, I might put them in the middle to stop them rolling about, so and I've got all blues but you'll have a mixture of colours in yours, um, and I might put this on, okay, first, so what we're going to do, how you do it is you get one of your glue dots, you pop it on the end like so, take the back off, and then you're going to make a loop 
and stick it onto the glue dot there. Okay, so you'll have a loop, a hanging loop. Okay, so get another glue dot, place it on there. Again, take the back off and where the bow is, sort of measure up with your eye, you don't have to do it perfectly, and stick it as near to the edge of the plate. You can turn it over as well, so it's got, it gives more strength. It's not going anywhere, because it will be not really heavy, but it will be quite heavy with all the pom-poms on, and that's pretty strong. You can always have two on if you think, oh, this isn't strong enough, but these are very sticky. Okay, so now I'm going to start decorating my wreath with my pom-poms, okay? We only need one on each pom-pom. So I'm going to stick it on, peel the back off as I go along. So I'll start with my first one. What you can do is you can do this, you could pop them on like that. one at a time, like so, to my finger, and then take the backs off like that, just so it speeds, might speed it up a bit for you. But again, I've said it before, you can pause the video and catch up if you think I'm moving too quickly. Okay, so I've got all purples and blues. I'm not sure if it goes with the red bow, but you can decide for me whether it does or not. I'm getting rid of the white one because that doesn't really go uh, with all the other colours. So you will have a mixture of colours that go together. Okay, so I'm going to put a few more on, as you can see, like that. Once you peel them on, off the backing sheet, that bit sticky, and that helps you just plump them on your pom poms. Plump on the table. Okay, so I'm ready to stick some more. I'm going to have one under my bow. I'll have given you several pom-poms and if you think well I don't want as many as Emma's given me you don't have to use them all you might only want five on it's up to you it's your wreath so you decorate it how you like it okay. if also if this is a bit fiddly glue dots that I provide you and you've got white school glue spreader you could always stick them on with that but you will have to put them on a flat surface and let them dry completely before you try and hang your wreath up okay don't have to, mine are sort of all similar in the middle, but you can have them near the edge, you can have them nearer the middle, it's up to you, okay? But now I've gone along with them all sort of in the same thing. I might squeeze another little blue in there. Okay. Just the back off, okay? Did it the wrong way round then, I took the back off. I'm going to put those to one side because I'm not going to use those on mine. Okay, so 
you should have the finished wreath that you can hang up. Now some of mine are springing up a little bit and I, that is when you can put little glue dots or white glue on the back um, but you can hang it up anywhere you like and you've made a lovely Christmas decoration. Thank you for joining.